Hi students. Okay, so today we're going to go over how to draw some basic shells. I'm going to start my shapes in pencil and then I'm going to go over them in Sharpie just like I did for the trees. To start my basic shapes, I'm going to have one, two, three shells here and one, two, three shells here and the first one has a large, wide, upside down V with a curved line here. The next one has a large, wide, right side up V with a curved line here. And then it has these two things right here. Make that a little bit more curved out. And then this one is going to be kind of roughly a circle. This one is going to be roughly a circle. This one is going to be the starfish. Remember that it's up, down, over, over, and over from the space stuff drawing, right, to make the basic star. And then this one is going to be this wide open upside down V shape into kind of a diamond shape kind of into this part. It's going to have this additional piece here. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to a Sharpie and start showing you how to do these. Let me see about my skinny Sharpie. I'm also going to try and get this to focus better because you know that I don't think it does a good job at all. That's amazingly terrible. Hold on. Okay. All right, so for this one, the bumpy edge is on the side. So you're going to create this kind of bumpy edge up, curve over, bumpy edge down, and then this is relatively flat, but it is still curved. Now, when you, draw, when you draw the concentric lines on this, they follow this curve because it grew out from the center in this overlapping um, layered way. And this is as far as it got so far, right? So we're going to have all these concentric lines like that. Clean this one up a little bit. Okay, for this one, these are the lines that are relatively straight. And this one is the one that is the bumpy one. So it goes like this. Up to here. It has these. And then these lines do not go all the way to the end. This is a flat area. So when you pull these lines in towards the center, you don't want to go all the way. For this one, you're going to start, actually let's start out here. You're going to start a bumpy line and you're going to curl around um, to the center. So it's just sort of like an organic line. It's not a flat, smooth line. And it's going to come in, come in, and come in. And then you need to kind of finish it. It does come down to here and tuck up under there. Now for this one, the lines come out the whole way around, but for some of these shells, they're colored in stripes, some of them. Once again, I'm using a kind of, kind of bumpy line. I'm not trying to make this look smooth because the shell is not smooth. But I'm going to follow this around like this. You know what, I'm going to put this on fast forward 
so that you can just sit here this whole time. Okay, so for the sand dollar, I am going to make the circle, but I'm going to make it a kind of, once again, like an, an organic line. You don't really want this to be smooth. Once again, I'm going to try to focus this because for the life of me, let me see if I can do a better job myself. Oh, youngsters. Okay, so the sand dollar has this really specific pattern on it. It has five kind of flower petal looking things coming out of the center, and then it has these openings in five places as well, but they're sort of specific. So from the center, I'm going to make these petal shapes. Don't go all the way to the edge because you won't have any room for the opening parts. And then what they really have is this like texture inside of this, but you can show it either with just a single line all the way out, or with a kind of double line, which is a little bit more accurate, but not a big deal if you can't fit it. And now the openings are here, 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 and here. It's a really beautiful little creature. Okay, your starfish. You can go ahead and make this whole outer edge. You can make it bumpy if you want. I'm going to make mine relatively, not bumpy, but um, I don't want it smooth but I'm not going to spend all the time making the exterior bumps on this edge. You can if you want to. But it does have a significant amount of bumps on its back. So what we tend to do for this is just cluster these bumps, especially down each of these areas towards each leg. You know what, I might put this on fast forward also because this could be a while. Stay here. Oh, down each leg, and then a couple more in between them. The whole thing is bumpy, but you want those legs to really be defined. Hold on one second. Okay, I have to admit, I got a little overzealous with the bumps. They were a lot of fun. I found myself kind of just doodling absent-mindedly, but they are fun. Okay, so now for this one, I'm going to show you how to do this in a couple basic lines because it's a complicated shell, but you'll get the idea. So you're going to start with a line here and then curve down. I'm going to make two rows past it here Now, this is going to come over and attach to this part. So when we make this line, we don't want to connect it to here. So come down from here, right about here, and you can make that come in and connect to that, but don't connect it to this. This is going to go past it, and kind of just undulate down to there and tuck in behind it. Now, you're gonna add those rows of jagged 
markings upward, you want to keep this relatively shallow. You don't want to like end up, you know, up here. So let's make the first row. The next one. I'm coming in a little bit each time. This one. This one. I'm also getting shallow so that I don't have to force it all the way up and then to a point. Okay, I'm going to erase, and you, I think, should color, because these look awesome. Shells really don't have to be just beige and white. A lot of them have a lot of color in them. There could be a lot of pinks and oranges and greens and things like that. So I think you should have a lot of fun and enjoy. Okay, kiddos, take care.